Okay, hopefully you will have completed this challenge and you're ready to move on. So we're going to talk about movie clips um, and how to create them. So movie clips are great because whatever's going on in the scene, a movie clip can be separate from the scene and run. Now for this site it would be quite good if the clouds continue to run across the screen like this. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it so that it continually runs. Well, what I'm going to do is I've got left and right anyway. I'm actually just going to select this and now I'm going to just take away this tween. So you can right hand click and remove, remove tween. I'll get rid of these end frame parts here. I'm removing frame there and I'm just going to put drop this in there. So now we haven't got a tween associated with it and it's just statically staying where it is. So I'm now going to select it, right hand click, convert to symbol and this time I'm going to choose type movie clip and call it clouds. Okay, now well that's done. So I'm going to double click on it now and it'll open us up into, as you can see there, that's the little symbol for movie clip and it's clouds. So I'm going to do it going every sort of two seconds across which would be obviously 24 frames. Set there, insert frames, F5. Click in here, create motion tween, F6, take it, move it right across. So now that's going to run across. So you don't see the other stuff animating like you can't see EcoSite move across it's because it's actually on the scene layer and they're separate so now even though you can't see it moving it's the movie clip and it will be moving and it will complete and it will it will be moving constantly so there we go we've created the movie clip in there I'm just gonna cloud I'm just gonna put in here clouds movie clip that tells me that that's a movie clip on that layer which is quite handy if you've got loads of them which you probably will so okay I'm going to export this now and see it run export movie we'll call it this time 3a that's done okay close that Okay, so in there my 3A file, let's have a look at the 3 file first and then you can see the difference. So here we go. The clouds are static, once it's played it runs across and it just remains there. But let's have a look at the new file with the movie clip. Here we go. Constantly moving across and not being affected by any of the pressing buttons because the movie clip is throughout all the frames. So that's quite cool. And imagine putting other clouds going the other way, maybe a darker shade to give it the impression of distance. Um, you can create a really nice layered effect and have it running whatever's going on in your movie. So that's a really good technique there that you just learned. I suggest you play around with that, try other things, and try and expand on what you've learned to date. Okay, in the next lesson, we're just going to look at um, simply look at buttons um, because the, the buttons that I created in the last lesson, there are certain things that you need to know about it. Um, especially when you want to duplicate them, um, which we use the library for. So in the next lesson we'll just look at the buttons and we'll look at um, the library and duplicating uh, symbols and getting to know the library a little bit better in Flash CS3.